Mobile phones were first rolled out 30 years ago, but sometimes Christopher Wallace feels communication has barely improved. He sells curtains and blinds in Newry in Northern Ireland. With the poor signal, we get a lot of customers complaining that they can never get a hold of us. Now, in, in the shop here where we're situated at the minute, the signal's OK. If I travel one mile pretty much any direction from here, the signal all of a sudden becomes diabolical. In the district of Newry and Morn, 11% of premises have no mobile phone signal, according to Ofcom. It is one of the worst performing local authorities in the UK. As you can see, if you look at my phone there, it's saying network lost. At this point, I am, what, about 1.2, 1.3 miles from our own shop. How frustrating is that for you? OK, it's just, it drives you mad at times. Um, like, things are tough enough. We're trying to do business. We're trying to keep employment. We're trying to grow our business. And then you can't get a hold of your customers. Your customers can't get a hold of you. It's a massive issue for the local people. It affects our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, mobile coverage is something that we need to uh, contact our friends. It's almost a right for people. And unfortunately, we're uh, being discriminated against, in my opinion. Areas with no mobile signals are known as not spots. 11% of the UK is classified as such. Most of that is rural. Much is uninhabited. The proportion of UK premises that are in not spots is around 2%. More common are what are known as partial not spots, where not all mobile phone networks are available. Sometimes only one is. And according to Ofcom, 16% of UK premises fall within that category. The four main mobile networks have recently promised to boost coverage in rural areas. £5 billion of investment has been pledged. Although one idea to allow users to switch from one network to another if theirs isn't available has been rejected. Coverage in towns and cities is generally better, but many still find that their signal can drop out unexpectedly. As the coverage in cities depends on demand. Effectively, you divide the whole world or geographic areas within the world into cells. And so if you move to the cell next door, you disconnect from the first cell and you connect to the base station in the next cell. Their sizes change slightly depending on demand. So when you're positioned between two cells, your signal can cut out, even in areas with good mobile coverage. If it sounds complicated, just wait. Nowadays, there's about five billion mobile devices. It is expected that this will be several trillion devices uh, in 10 or 20 years time. This is what one would call a first-generation mobile phone. As challenges for network providers increase, so technology will inevitably improve, hopefully at the same rate. In 30 years' time, today's smartphones may well look as dated as this. Tim Muffett, BBC News.